Hey party people, so welcome to yet another cooking vlog thing. Today we're making something. We're making chicken sausage and panini with pink sauce. So I think we've made something similar to this before, but this I think is a little bit different. But before we do all that, I figured I'd give everyone a quick update because it's been a minute since we've done like an update on what's been going on. Cause I just, I haven't really just picked up the camera and filmed you know, like vlogging stuff like I used to do just because I'm just so in the zone of studying for the CPA exam that I kind of forget to do it. And then Tyler's not really wanting to pick up the camera and just like vlog. So uh, that's why pretty much all of our videos are cooking these days. So I apologize if you get bored with it, but it's just, it's the only time that I can think like, oh, I should pick up the camera and film. Uh, but anyways, I'm still studying for the CPA exam, obviously. I'm still studying for FAR, or I'm studying for FAR again, and I'm gonna take it at the end of April, which is this month, today's April 9th, and I'm gonna take it on the 29th, I believe. And then hopefully that's gonna be good. Uh, another update, we got our appraisal back for the house that we put an offer in on, and we got all of the inspection stuff done, and everything went pretty well for the most part, uh, you know, there's some things that needed work with the inspections and then uh, we had to do a little, um, they had to go down a little bit on their asking price with the appraisal. But overall, everything turned out pretty well and uh, we should be, should be good to go on May 3rd is the closing date. So knock on wood. I knocked on wood for you, Tyler. Uh, but yeah, so that's exciting. I'm looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to having a house. And still looking at houses occasionally because I'm trying to convince my parents to move to Oklahoma. So if y'all are watching this, I'm still looking for houses for you because I want them to move there with us because <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. So that's my goal in life. I'm trying to get my dad to get a job in Oklahoma. So that way we'll all live together. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's nice not to have to house hunt for us though and to just house hunt or just look at houses for funsies because I just like to do that in general. I kind of like to look at the inside of houses and get an idea for it, you know, or just drive past people's houses and look at them. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the Masters is this weekend so we're going to be watching the Masters so maybe we'll end up vlogging a little bit, you know, this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. But that is pretty much it. That's what's been going on in life for the most part. I don't think anything else has happened. Uh, the house stuff all happened this week, and then I've just been studying. So, nah, I think that's really it. Just uh, trying to get our stuff together for whenever we move, get our U-Haul rented. We got that done this week and all that. But yeah, there's your little life update. And with that being said, we'll jump into, well, I'll show you all the ingredients and the measurements and all that stuff. And then we'll jump into the chopping. Okay, so we've got our one zucchini. We have, uh, I should have looked at this, okay. One ounce of Philadelphia original cream cheese. I, if you have extra cream cheese though, I always recommend putting more like cream cheese and sour cream than what they give you because I think it tastes better. We don't have more sour cream though. We have two ounces of some mozzarella. We have, I'm using four cloves of garlic instead of three because we just, they give us so much garlic that we gotta get rid of it. I'm also gonna use an onion just to maybe like add some flavor and also because we have onions that we need to get rid of, so why not? We have one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I may add some other seasonings just to kind of spice things up a little bit. We have nine ounces of sweet Italian chicken sausage. And then we have six ounces of some panini. So yeah, I think that's all of our ingredients. I always end up forgetting something, but I think that's it. And now we're gonna get into chopping. chopped up now which is awesome 
We are working on our water boiling and that's taking a minute because I kind of forgot to turn the stove on. And also our oil over here, not that you can see it. Nah, you can kind of see it. Uh, our oil over here is uh, starting to cook. And also, if you're wondering where Tyler is, Tyler is going to the store right now to get some, I guess he's getting beer or wine, I don't know. He seemed confused because he kept talking about wine and then he said he was going to get beer. So I'm not sure, but going to get alcohol because we're watching the Masters and you know, it's just un-American to have a sport event going on during the weekend and not have alcohol. So that's where Tyler is. And um, yeah, now we're gonna get into cooking up our oil, or not cooking up our oil, gosh. Test brain, people, test brain. So we're gonna get into um, cooking our zucchini. That's what we're cooking. Gosh, sorry, my brain. I, whenever you get up at four o'clock every morning, it just makes things difficult. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but zucchini, we're cooking zucchini. That's what we're doing. And then once our water gets all boiled, we'll uh, add that, add the pasta to the pot and start boiling that. So I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into the back to the cooking. You know. A quick pause and show the beer that Tyler got because it seems interesting if you're wondering what that sound was it was Tyler unloading the gun <laughs> uh, but yeah in fun fact he did get beer I wasn't sure I was talking about how it was un-American to have a sporting event and not have alcohol mm -hmm. and I couldn't remember if you were getting beer or wine because we talked about both beer but yeah these should be good we'll update you on how they taste Back to cooking though. Beer one is the lawn chair lager. It is a lawn chair lager. It says that it is for those lazy, lazy summer days, kicking back with a cooler of cold beers and good friends. Try this crisp, refreshing lager featuring Huel melon hops from Bavaria with hints of honeydew and strawberry. Erica just opened up the cap and it said cheers on the inside. Spices this time, like uh, the pepper flakes and some more oregano and stuff like that. So hopefully it'll add some flavor to it and make it taste good. And in other news, we're now on to the Porch Rocker beer, which is inspired by German cyclists who mixed a beer with lemon lime flavors after a tough ride in Porch Rocker. We brewed a golden helis? Heels? I don't know. 
I don't know. Okay. Combined with smooth, effervescent. ever, effervescent, 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 effervescent. Oh there my. Lemon lime taste that'll kick the heck out of any summer day. The heat. Oh, I thought I said the heck. The heat. I need to get my eyes shut. Anyways, should be good. And next up is the summer ale. It is a citrus wheat ale. And it says that this bright citrus wheat ale is summer in a glass. Bustling, bursting with orange lemon and lime peels, summer ale finishes clean and subtle with grains of paradise, which accent the crisp wheat character, iconic and refreshing. Summer ale is perfect for any summer day. Gosh, their font is really hard to read. But anyway, there you have it. Um, I liked the first one the best, the lemony one I did not like, and hopefully this one is good too. We will see though. And for the last beer, we have Beach Sessions IPA, crisp and tropical. It says it is bright and lively. This beer boasts a crisp tropical aroma from mosaic hops and a clean finish. We recommend drinking it cold and at sea level. I don't know if we're at sea level, but it's definitely cold. And after trying these beers over several days, I can tell you that this is the order that they go in. We have the IPA, the peach, no, the beach session IPA, the lawn chair lager, the summer ale, and then the porch rocker. I didn't like the lemon in this one. I like this IPA because it tasted pretty good. Um, this one just tasted like a regular beer, and this one was kind of a crisper beer. So anyway, uh, there you have it. That is the Samuel Adams Sips of Summer Pack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> overall, I feel like that was pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked the sausage the most, and besides that, it was all just pretty solid. Yeah, I just, I don't think I like the taste of the sausage, because every time we had this sausage, I'm just not really a big fan of it, so I think that, stop pulling on my fat. <laughs> he was grabbing my stomach and pulling on my fat. She's crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just, I don't think I'm a big t fan of like the way that they season the sausage and the way that it tastes. I think if it was regular chicken that I would like it. But overall, I feel like everything else about it tasted really, really good. And yeah. I really liked it. I agree with that. The sausage I was a fan of, the rest of it was pretty good. I would give it, uh, I don't want to give it seven and a half, but I'm going to give it seven and a half out of ten. I'm going to give it a six out of ten only because of the sausage. Otherwise, it would get a seven. Blasphemy! <laughs> Blasphemy! I just don't like the taste of the sausage. But the beer has been good. I've enjoyed the beer. The two that we've had, those have been pretty good. And as a PSA, uh, don't send us any more candy, people. I feel like I should put that because I was thinking about that earlier. Because We've literally had more candy in the past four months than we've had in the past three years like it's, that's not true no maybe the past year no definitely at least the past two years because we don't eat a lot of candy but people keep sending us candy and junk food and then we eat it all and we don't have no self-control so don't send us candy no don't send us any more candy we're trying to eat healthy no remember our whenever we move you're not we're not eating any more crap we're eating all good stuff. You're the one who told me to make you do this. So don't be winking at the camera and winking at them. Because you're the one who told me that I'm in charge of making sure that you don't eat a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Y'all need to hold him to it and don't buy us any more junk food. Because it's becoming a problem. <laughs> but with that being said, we'll see you all next time. Later, guys. I'll <laughs> see you in Candyland. No! Candyland! <laughs>